In this video, we're going to talk about multiplication of vectors. Vectors can be multiplied in two ways. The first one is the dot product. We also call it scalar multiplication. The reason is because after multiplying these vectors, your answer will be only in magnitude, no direction. So, and remember, scalars have only magnitude, no direction. So, dot product means by the time you finish multiplying those two vectors, what you're going to get is only magnitude. Number two is cross product. We also call it vector multiplication. When you finish multiplying the two vectors, what you are going to have is still a vector. Okay, so now how do we know a, a dot product? Now, if vector A, how we know that vector A and vector B are dot products of each other is if A dot vector B is equal to the magnitude of vector A times the magnitude of vector B cos theta. That's how we know that they are a dot product of each other. Now, let's look at an example. Okay, this question says, if vector A is 3i minus 2j plus k, and vector B is 2i plus 4j minus 3k, find one, the dot product of vector A and vector B to the angle between them. Now, there are some things that you need to note when you are multiplying vectors using the dot product. The thing is, or the first thing you need to know is that whenever I is multiplying a fellow I using dot, it is equal to one. And whenever J is dotting J is also one. Whenever K is dotting K is also one. But whenever I dots another thing like J, you get zero. When I dots K is zero. So you need to know this. And when J dots another thing, when J dots first of all dots J, you get one. When J dots another thing other than J, like I, you get zero. Same thing with K. When K dots K, is one but when k dots another thing is zero so because of this simple rule the easiest way to make a dot product a in this question dot b vector b in this question is going to be 3i minus 2j plus k dot 2i plus 4j minus 3k since this dotting this i will have one when these two dot each other but whenever this person dots a different person here it will be zero that zero multiply whatever answer you get is still zero so the easiest way and simplest way to do that is just for them to dot themselves i dot i so that i can still get one j dot j so i can still get one k dot k so i can still get one what i mean by that is you simply do three times two i dot i minus two times plus four that's minus two times four j dot j then for k you have one k which is k times that's okay let's use one times because one is the coefficient of k here so one times minus three k dot k so three times two is six i dot i is one minus two times four is minus eight j dot j so j dot j is one 
1 times minus 3 is minus 3. K dot K is 1. Therefore, if you simplify, what you have is 6 times 1 is 6, minus 8 times 1 is minus 8, minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. Therefore, what you do is 6 minus 8 is going to, to give you minus 2, minus 2 minus 3 is going to give you minus 5. So, minus 5 is your answer. So, the, uh, dot product is a scalar multiplication because when you finish your answer is going to be in a scalar okay the next is going to be dot product okay the, we have a second question that says what is the angle between them so the second question says what is the angle between them now remember we said that a and b are dot product of each other if a dot b is equal to the magnitude of a vector a times the magnitude of vector b cos theta now for us to find the angle between them we make cos theta subject of the formula so cos theta will be given as a dot b all over the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b now cos theta is equal to we've already resolved a dot b to be minus 5 so we have minus 5 over the magnitude of vector a so you remember that vector a was 3 minus 2 plus 1 so 3i so we have 3 squared we can say plus because even if minus 2 squared we are still going to get a positive answer so plus 1k so 1 squared this is magnitude of a then for b vector b 2i so we have 2 squared plus 4 squared minus 3 squared because vector b is 2i plus 4j minus 3k so if we resolve and saying cos theta is equal to minus 5 sorry here is also square root so minus 5 over the square root of 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 plus 1 squared still 1 multiply by the square root of 2 squared is 4 4 squared is 16 minus 3 squared is positive so plus 9 so plus now what we have is that cos theta will give us minus 5 is still the numerator over we add all of this if we add 9 plus 16 is going to 25 25 plus 1 is 26 so let's write 26 at the same time and no that's all so the over we have uh, this plus this is 20 20 plus 9 is 29 so root 29 so we have cos theta so once we have the square root of 26 square root of 29 we multiply both of them this is this this is this when you multiply both of them you get 27.458 so if you divide you get minus 0 0.182 so if cos theta is minus 0 0.182 Therefore, theta itself will now be the cos inverse of minus 0 0.182, which will give you 100.486 or 100.5 100 degrees. So that is the angle between them. Okay, so the next one is cross product. Now, using the same vectors for A and B, let's find 
vector a cross vector b now for us to solve it vector a cross vector b the easiest way to resolve this is using the matrix method now for the matrix method you have i you have minus j and you have plus k so i is positive j is negative and k is positive you must know that these signs are there and must be applied okay so for a we have 3 i we have minus 2 j we have k that's 1 k for b we have 2 i we have 4 4 j then for k we have minus 3 remember the signs remember the signs so for us to resolve the i component all we need to do carefully close the column of i close the rule of i what is left is minus 2 1 and 4 and minus 3 so you are now going to do a diagonal multiplication minus 2 times minus 3 minus 4 times 1 i say that again minus diagonal multiplication minus 2 times minus 3 minus 4 times 1 so let's put that down minus 2 times minus 3 minus 4 times 1 so this is how to get the i component for minus j component we cover the column of j and also the rule of j what is left is 3 1 2 and minus 3 so that we have also diagonal multiplication 3 times minus 3 minus 2 times 1 so we go 3 times minus 3 minus 2 times 1 that's how to get the g component now plus k component what you still need to do is we cover the column of k cover the rule of k and also do diagonal multiplication which is 3 times 4 minus 2 times minus 2 so 3 times 4 minus 2 times minus 2 so this is how to get there we can now resolve by saying minus 2 times minus 3 is going to give you plus 6 so 6 minus 4 times 1 is 4 that's i minus j 3 times minus 3 is going to give us minus 9 minus 9 minus 2 times 1 is 2 so this is for j then for k we have 3 times 4 which is plus k we have 3 times 4 is 12 12 minus 2 times minus 2 is going to give you minus 4 minus 4 so let's go back for i we're going to have 6 minus 2 6 minus 4 i beg your pardon 6 minus 4 will give us 2 we have minus 9 minus 2 we give us minus 11 so minus j minus 11 plus here we have 2 minus times minus is plus so 12 plus 4 is going to give us 16 so we have 16 therefore 2 times i is 2i minus 11 times j will give us plus 11j 16 times k gives us plus 16 k so this is the cross product of a and b so when you finish your answer still remains in i j 
and k that's why we call it vector multiplication